Hello, hello, I am your host, Chantel Dutel, and if this is your first time here, welcome. And if you're returning, welcome back. You know what the video is about, you clicked on it. <laughs> I'm gonna give you my little review and a little comparison of the WandaVision doll from Shop Disney of Scarlet Witch. She is special edition, so let's get in. Um, I really actually love the packaging because if you do want to keep her in box, there's a large window area to where you could really see and admire the doll. Um, and let's get to the back. You see she is special edition. Um, I really like that artwork back there. It's so cute. <laughs> If for some reason you want to read this, you can pause it. And um, I paid $44.99. I had a 20% off coupon, and she's $62.99 uh, for my Canadian friends. And um, I'm going to go ahead and take her out of the box. And I'm not going to do that on camera, because I absolutely do not understand <laughs> why people film themselves struggling. And let me tell you, taking this box, taking this chick out this box was a struggle. <laughs> look at this <laughs> very much giving me flashbacks of trying to help my cousin get her like barbies out in the 90s but i actually love to do that because then i could kind of play with them as well but they definitely have her in there for a safe journey uh hair sewing in and everything I know sometimes we see random dolls like, what What happened? They'll be all out the box, hair everywhere. These are the tools that I use. Uh, I recommend those small scissors to go ahead and, uh, you know, not fuck up your doll because sometimes you can cut things that you don't mean to cut. And I use um, these jewelry making uh, tools to get the little tags out so I'm not cutting any hair. And bam, she's out. Doesn't it look easy? But it took about 10 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually very happy with the way this doll came out. Her face is so pretty. Yes, she's giving me Elizabeth Olsen, honey. Yes, we don't have to squint. We don't have to, like, hold one eye open or one eye to the side to kind of see it. I definitely see her likeness. Now, granted, this is not Hot Toys. So, it's only going to get so close. But look at the detail of her crown. Um, her bodice area. I feel like all that is a little big. Um, I feel like they could have maybe used a more, uh, sil not silicone, but a more pliable material that can get a little bit more form fitting because it does make her look big. It makes her look bigger than what she actually um, is. And it's a very like hard plastic. It's stiff. And she has her costume in the film has more of a movement to it, especially with this glamorous cape. You want a little flowy action while you're flying, you know what I mean. And I had to go ahead and put her on a stand <laughs> because with my sausage fingers getting in there, she's falling over and all that. I need a little bit more help and reinforcement. I just used a Kaiser stand. I get these from Amazon. And... Um, yeah, they get the job done. It doesn't fit her perfectly, but it's going to help her stand up for the duration of this review. And go ahead and take a look at um, her cape, very similar to uh, Vision. I would love if they would have put out a Vision doll as well. So that, you know, she needs her man. She needs her man in the doll world or the dolly versus the fabulous uh, Toya from Froggy, Froggy Stuff says. <laughs> Um, here we are, these boots. These boots are made for walking and they are not coming off. Those are her feet. Um, they don't they don't come I don't know how else to say it. They just don't come off. This doll is very much meant to stay in this ensemble. If you want to create other looks, you would have to buy another doll and off with her head. <laughs> I really hope that Mattel will release a doll with this skin tone that's more in the, um, that's not the uh, regular size. Uh, because you'll see when I do a size comparison, this doll is very small. Um, 
you can see, hey, Hood. Her little hood is back here. And it was connected with a little piece of plastic, a little piece of plastic tag. And I was hoping that when I undid that tag, there was a little bit more fabric to make that hood really give her a little red riding hood moment. But you'll see that that did not happen. And as you can, I can see from here, you can see the texture. This has a very kind of heavy texture fabric that they have on her. And here we go. See? The hood does not look bad, but I would love for it to be very much more of a cloak. You know, I, I want that shape where it's kind of just draped over her. And um, I couldn't get the hair any, like, that's the best I could do with the hair because this outfit is on. It is very much on. I li really love the gloves, and I think that they have a real pretty kind of sparkle to them, uh, which me gives a little magic. It gives a little magic touch because there is some um, detail given to her hands. I think th they did a beautiful job sculpting her hands, and it also lends to a lot of like cool doll photography and poses and really fun things that you can do. And here we are with these boots again. Eh, the boots are just, you know, if I had to nitpick and critique, that would be my least favorite thing about the doll. Here we are with the hands, darling. I have pulled out a pointer. <laughs> it's a rat tail comb. It's just easier to get in there and show off a little details. But I did have a, a teacher a teacher uh, fantasy moment like I was using a pointer. And here we have the uh, Barbie made to move uh, double jointed elbow. She doesn't quite have the same range as a made to move Barbie, but the knees still have go back pretty far. And I know Disney does have some dolls that have very similar range where the, the knees can go all the way back. And here I'm, sh I'm trying to show you this is pretty much on. I don't see any opening. There's no slit. She is staying in this. And like th like I was saying earlier, I really want a smaller body because since this doll is so small, I have seen some people put this doll on a um, regular made-to-move body and the head very much looks small. So it would look better with the right proportions and this uh book that i had out if you saw it in the background is a really cool kind of like marvel dictionary uh the ladies of marvel it gives like a little bit of their backstory and it's just a fun little thing and i thought it would be fun to pull out my new york minute ashley and mary kate this would be like the dolls that came out at their oldest age so i thought it'd be fun to put them together mattel i would really love to see them put out a Barbie version like they did for Black Widow because I think that they would execute the ensemble a little bit better. I would I think that it would be more form fitting. And as I was putting these away, I was like, look at the once upon a time. Once upon a time we had this quality. These are nice fabrics. There's beads, you know, as buttons. Um, just, you know, uh, you got a corduroy hat and then actual denim jeans. Can you believe that? What once was? Come on, Mattel. We know that you can do it. They're doing a good job with Barbie Extra. So I have Barbie Extra and a Creatable World as a size comparison. And you can see she's pretty small. I did uh, pull out the ruler because <laughs> I'm like... Is she 10 inches? And the ruler says yes. You know, sometimes they, people, you know, even in real life, people like to exaggerate on inches. <laughs> and sometimes you got to pull out that ruler. Of course. And, you know, I took a little a couple pictures on here and I did a little special effects. How do you like them? Do you like me adding these um, little things on to my videos? It's just, I do put them on, on Instagram. And if you want to follow me on Instagram, it's Chantel Dutel. And Twitter is also Chantel Dutel. I'm not as active on Twitter as far as like back and forth and stuff. And also TikTok. I just have to uh, get a little bit more familiar with TikTok. 
<laughs> but go ahead and you know like dislike my video whatever you feel um give me a little subscription and um yeah thanks for watching i'm gonna end this video like i end all my videos and um say when you paint paint with all the colors of the rainbow and i'm gonna, as always have fun doing it until next time my sweetie pies uh, be safe